shit's real and I just begun So many ladies wanna share my tongue uh, Man, it's life of mine We in the league, we impress the time So that bottom gon' pop And my record gon' spin And the moles gon' jive Ain't no telling how my night might end What's good, homies? Fellas, females, compadres, this is Dahi here with my boys, r, &R Productions. Today, uh, we're here to uh, talk about the Hell of the Night record um, I did for Schoolboy's Q album, um, Oxymoron. The track I did for the album is called Hell of the Night. Um, it is one of the more up-tempo type records. I just kind of want to show you the process of how I made the beat and um, kind of go through certain things um, in, you know, I guess my production style a little bit and how I thought about the record. So, um, yeah, let's go through. I was just going through some stock sounds of some sound libraries that I had. And um, one of the sounds that I had was this uh, sound loop that um, had a dope kind of like, kind of just melodic tone. Um, and I can play what that sounds like. So that sound is what I took around and I added like some reverb and gave it a little bit more of a uh, kind of fresh sound. Um, after that, um, I kind of just um, started to just add some, usually what I do is I'll add uh, some bass line um, first to kind of give it a, you know, a dope kind of sound to it. So I decided to add a, um, a bass line. Um, from uh, just a couple of different music programs and stuff. And uh, we started to play it, and it kind of gave it more of a. So that's that kind of like the sound from there, um, just to kind of give it a, a, a sense of direction in the record. When I made the drums for the record, um, usually after that I kind of just go in and kind of add drum sounds and I don't know, for some reason I was just really feeling like, hey, let me just make some trap sounding drums with the kind of like dance feel. Like I, I, in my mind I was like, yo, let me try to merge the two together. This guy kind of sounds all together um, with those kind of like few elements of it already. Just kind of just basic different snares and kicks in the, in the record to give it more of a uh, dope layering effect on different parts of the production. And then the trap hi hats. And then a little kick under it. So. So I kind of like after all those kind of basic drum patterns, I was like, yo, let me just kind of like fill in the record and give it just more of a, a body um, when it comes to just, um, just filling in kind of sounds, making all the layers kind of really merge into like a real full record. Um, and um, I added, pretty much I added some 808s under there. And then um, after that, I said, yeah, let me just kind of fill it in and, and different parts of the record, just certain parts and you gotta hear different little elements and then I'll just play those right quick too. So, I mean, those are pretty much all the elements of the record. Um, for me, it was important to kind of just keep kind of like trying to merge two records together um, in the sense of like saying having a dance record but also having like a hip-hop record. As soon as I made it um, I sent it to Q and Q um, recorded it like maybe like two days after I sent it to him. I guess you know Q's album is definitely one of the dope kind of sounds that are coming out of LA and you know kind of being able to try different things with uh, him 
is really dope. Um, that pretty much is the process of how I made the track. I want to give a shout out to my boys r and Productions uh, for coming through. Yeah, if you want to get in contact with me, um, you can hit me up on my Twitter. It's at DJ Dahi. Yeah, pretty much it. Thanks for coming through. Talk to you guys later. Might be a hell of a night, go. This is Kendrick Lamar shouting out with my folks, r and Shout out to r and Right here on r and Productions. I am rocking with r and Productions, man. r and Productions. r and Productions. Click right here. Subscribe. All right? I hope season.